Altitude Trampoline Park. And as it turns out, this is the perfect place to learn about Newton's laws of motion. Newton's first law of motion states that an object that is at rest or sitting still will stay that way unless it's acted on by an unbalanced force. All right, this is our weather intern, Grace. We're gonna put the first law of motion into action right now. So Grace is sitting still and I am going to jump and put Grace into motion. All right, ready, steady, go. <laughs> Newton's second law of motion is a pretty popular equation. It's F equals MA, or force equals mass times acceleration. And this is basically saying the more mass that an object has, the more force will be needed to make that object accelerate or move. All right, so we've got three balls here. They've got a little mass, so it's not gonna take much force for us when we jump to get these balls to accelerate. All right, Newton's third and final law of motion, probably the easiest to remember, it is that each action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if I jump and push down on this trampoline, the trampoline's gotta come back up and I'll come back up with it. And when Grace jumps into the trampoline wall, <laughs> she's gonna bounce right back off as the trampoline comes back to its original state. Good job, Grace. So next time you're at a trampoline park, having an awesome time, remember it's not just fun, it's physics. <laughs>